So I literally will carry a gun to check my mailbox. So someone wanna please explain to me why this dude went into bear territory without a gun? So I found out why this guy was in Smokey the Bear's territory without a firearm. It's because this happened in Japan. And in Japan, the only guns permitted for sale are shotguns and air rifles. You see, handguns are completely banned. And even if you wanted a shotgun, you have to attend an all day class, pass a written test and a shooting range test with an accuracy of at least 95%. You also have to undergo a mental health evaluation and drug test, as well as a rigorous background check, including a review of your criminal record, personal debt, involvement in organized crime and relationships with family and friends. You even have to register the shotgun with the police and provide details of where the gun and ammunition will be stored. And you have to keep it locked up in a compartment. The gun also has to be inspected by the police once a year. And you must retake the class every three years to renew your license. And this is all simply to own a shotgun. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking, but Koei on Noir, Japan must have a really low gun death rate then. And yeah, they do. And the anti-gun lobby love to tell and point this out in defense of passing the same type of gun control laws here in the US. But what you forgot to do is ask yourself this question. How did Japan's gun laws help this guy in this situation? Because it clearly didn't. In that moment, when he realized that Bear was about to attack him, do you think he thought to himself, oh man, Thank goodness I don't have a gun to defend myself, and I'm sure glad Japan has a low gun death rate. Or, 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 he was thinking, I'd give anything right now to have a firearm. I assure you, it was the latter. Because in that moment, the only thing that mattered to him was protecting his life. Political ideologies always take a back seat to the preservation of one's life. The hardcore anti-gunners turn into hardcore two-way advocates when their life is in danger. It's easy to get someone to agree with gun control when you're sitting in an air-conditioned building sipping box wine, but when you're actually confronted with a life or death situation like this guy was, you want all the guns. Places like Japan may have strict gun control, but that just changes the tool used to commit murder. Japan is also known for their mass stabbings. Long story short, human nature is going to human nature and nature is going to nature, whether you want it to or not. This guy got lucky. He got attacked by a bear, and the only thing he can do is slap at it like he was reenacting a scene from Baby Boy. Had that been a grizzly bear or this happened on flat ground instead of on a mountainside, he'd be done. People forget, he also had to walk back from where he came from. You think he wasn't scared out of his mind that this bear might try to attack him again or that maybe another animal might try to attack him? I was just on a hunting trip myself not too long ago where I had to hike back in the middle of the night and then out of nowhere, I see these two big ass glowing eyes that appeared in the darkness. However, unlike this guy, I had a gun with 15 rounds of 10 millimeter in it. And you wanna know what went through my head in that very moment? No, it wasn't, oh, I'm glad I have this gun. But it was, damn, I wish I had more bullets because I don't know what the hell I'm about to deal with right now. Now, it turned out to be harmless, but in that moment when I had no clue, I wasn't only glad I had a gun, but I was actually also wishing I had more gun. So this idea of magazine capacity laws and, oh, you can't have this gun is nonsense because in the moment, it doesn't matter. You want the most effective tool to protect your life. That's all you care about. And at the end of the day, I honestly can't fault this guy for not having a gun in this particular situation because of where it happened. But let's not act like there aren't a bunch of cases here in the US where people find themselves in similar situations and refuse to carry a gun because of their progressive stupidity outweighing their common sense or even the law simply just prevent them from doing so. Either way, mother nature doesn't care about your ideology or your common sense gun laws and neither should you. 
because it's just gonna get you killed. Speaking of common sense gun laws, the midterms are right around the corner. That means there's gonna be a whole bunch of politicians who are wanting to pass all these stupid gun control laws that don't do anything for you except restrict your right and make it harder for you to defend yourself. So, you need to make sure you go out and you vote. But even more so, well not more so, but in addition to, make sure you're also wearing your state specific Keep America Tactical hat when you go and do it. I have these hats in all 50 states. I'm wearing the Texas one because I'm Texas through and through. But you may be, I don't know, Nevada through and through. You may be California through and through. Either way, head over to shop.mrcoleonawar.com right now and get your state-specific uh, Keep America Tactical hat and also new design. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.